He's Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and he's up for re-election. And now it looks as if he's facing a very serious challenge. There are four candidates on the ballot. Technically, there are four candidates running, but really it's a two-horse race with the main candidates neck and neck right now, and so the excitement is just electric. At the center are these two men, current president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and Mir Hussein Mousavi, Iran's pro-reform presidential candidate, drew thousands of supporters at a rally Monday, sending a powerful message to Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad's rallies also draw huge crowds. His supporters appreciate his anti-corruption policies and refusal to give up the country's nuclear research program, despite international pressure. For them, it's a question of national pride. These are the people trying to keep Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in power. Many of his young supporters see campaigning and voting for conservatives as their religious duty. Green's the color of the opposition candidate, Mir Hossein Mousavi, a 67-year-old architect and moderate reformer. Who is being billed as one who can not only make a difference at home, but also alter how the world views them. And that has been drawing younger voters. Their rallies in recent days are attracting significant support. Whether this will translate into votes is another matter, but every vote will count. The candidates faced off in televised debates, a first in Iran, and things got nasty. Stop interrupting me. The first live debates between presidential candidates are drawing huge audiences. There are three contenders looking to unseat Mr. Ahmadinejad, attacking him from both the left and right. Iran's state broadcaster IRIB keeps tight control over what's seen and heard on the airwaves here. But reformists say it's always been against them. Is that just before the campaign period ended, Ahmadinejad got an extra 45 minutes airtime to respond to accusations. Outside the TV station, they had to put up the barricades as outraged opposition supporters gathered to protest. TV stations can be controlled and newspapers shut down. But try to block websites or text messages, youngsters will find a way around. The internet is playing a critical role in Iran's elections, with Ahmadinejad's 68-year-old challenger turning to Facebook and text messages to organize support. This rally was organized on Facebook. While it was underway, the government blocked the social networking site, a sign that they realized just how influential these new campaign methods have become. Ahmadinejad spent his last day on the offensive, accusing his opponent of lying about Iran's economic troubles to sway voters. Ahmadinejad is threatening to jail his rivals for insulting him. He's accused them of adopting the kind of smear tactics used by German dictator Adolf Hitler. Nothing else matters in Iran except the economy. Everybody is going to be voting uh, according to uh, their pocketbook. Voters in Iran have just a few more days to make up their minds as the country faces one of its most divergent and contentious elections. A leading candidate must receive 50% of the vote. I think it's going to be unlikely that uh, either of the candidates, any of the candidates, will get more than 50% tomorrow. Iranian law prohibits public campaigning the day before an election. Every night this week, the streets of the capital were overflowing and traffic was gridlocked for miles. Tens of thousands of Iranians flocked to the streets to rally behind their candidate one last time. On the eve of an election that is simply too close to call.